All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So the topic of this video is going to be the truth about balking. Now, a lot of my videos, uh, the truth about natural bodybuilding, were pretty popular with you guys and you guys seem to enjoy those. Um, so this is kind of going to specifically relate to balking for natural bodybuilders. So um, if you're enhanced, this might not apply to you as much in some aspects. Um, but this is mostly for the natural guys out there that are watching this and thinking about balking or currently in their balking phase. So this photo you're looking at right here, um, this is the beginning of my bulk. This was towards the end of 2013. My body weight here was about 190 to 195. Now this is probably where I should have stopped in terms of weight. I probably should not have gained any more weight after this point um, because I was heavy enough, I was big enough, I was strong enough, and at this point my body fat was starting to climb. In this photo here, my body fat was probably 16 to 17%, somewhere in that range. Now this photo, I was still about the same weight. Um, so this next photo you're going to see here, this is me and my buddy Zach. At this point, I was up to about 200 pounds. Um, we were both balking at this point, but in, in this photo, I definitely got up to about 200 pounds. I was getting pretty pale. And you can definitely start to see the initial signs of weight gain. But some of the things I wanted to talk about were just the kind of unrealistic expectations for how much muscle you think you're going to put on when you're balking versus how much muscle you actually put on when you're balking in terms of a natural bodybuilder. Now, obviously, you know, I started out around 185 before I really started bar before I really started balking. So I gained about 30 pounds, actually about 40 pounds because my max weight was 225 at the end of my bulk. So in this photo here, I'm 211. But at the end of my bulk, I was 225. So I gained about 40 pounds um, from 185 to 225. Now, realistically, I was probably thinking that at least half of that was muscle. I thought I put on 20 pounds of muscle, and this bulk was over the course of about two years. So I thought two years, I put on at least 20, maybe 25 pounds of muscle. But sure enough, when I started cutting down, I realized probably you know 80, 85% of that weight I put on was fat and water weight. As you can see in this picture here, this was at the height of my bulk. A lot of my followers seemed to like this photo, and they said I looked pretty good at this weight. Um, but in reality, I was fat as fuck, I was uncomfortable as fuck, and I felt super unhealthy. So I weighed 225 pounds in this photo that you're looking at right here. Again, I'm about five foot nine, so keep that in mind when you're hearing these weights. So obviously, I did get a lot stronger. I did feel a lot stronger. I was definitely stronger in the gym. I was lifting more. I was benching more. I believe my bench press around this time was around 350 pounds, um, deadlifting around 500. Um, so I was doing pretty good at this point. This is when I first started powerlifting. That's the reason that I balked up was because I wanted to put on a lot of strength as well as a lot of muscle. But naturally, I realized once I cut down, I didn't put on nearly as much muscle as I thought I did. So it took me about a year to cut down from 225 back down to the 180s. And when I got down to the 180s, I really wasn't much bigger than I was, you know, before I bulked up. I did notice I was a little bit bigger and I thought I put on a little bit of muscle. But in reality, I didn't really put on as much muscle as I thought I was. So that's the first thing to be aware of, guys. You're not going to put on 20 pounds of muscle in two years if you've already been lifting for at least four or five. So don't have unrealistic uh, expectations. Set a realistic like weight limit for yourself. If you're five foot nine, 225 pounds is not a realistic weight. You should not want to aim for a weight that high because you're going to be pretty fucking fat. At this weight, I would estimate that I was probably 20 to 21 percent uh, body fat when I weighed 225 pounds. So I was really high in body fat. I felt really unhealthy. I got out of breath like super easily. You know, I had chest pain sometimes. You know, I felt like my blood pressure was pretty high because I got a lot of headaches. Um, so I just felt really unhealthy at this weight. And in the process of getting down from that weight is super unhealthy to get that heavy and then cut down so much like I did. I mean, dude, it was just super unhealthy. So you guys need to have some realistic expectations for how much muscle you're actually going to put on versus how much fat you're actually going to put on. As you can see in these pictures, I was pretty fat. But I had those I had those muscle blinders on, you know, in my vision when I looked in the mirror, I just saw this big buff muscular guy. I'm not I'm not fat, I'm thick, I'm bulky, I'm strong. That's kind of how I looked at myself in these pictures. Um so I was thinking, you know, I'm fucking I'm I'm killing it. But you're kind of you're feeding into the illusion that you put on all this muscle when you really haven't. You're really just fatter. But you're looking at yourself like, man, I'm big, I'm strong, I'm bulky, I'm a power lifter. Um so you need to kind of set aside that notion that you've actually gotten uh, you've actually gotten a lot more muscular. So here's a photo from after. 
So this is the after picture. This is what I look like basically right now. So I cut down. In this photo, I was probably about 155 to 160 pounds. So I look a lot healthier, and I think I look a lot better. Um, but a lot of my subscribers think I look too small at this weight. But I actually prefer the look um, in this photo than the look at 225 for sure, because at 225, I just look like a fucking fat ass. You also have to keep in mind... Girls don't want, girls don't care about how much you can lift for the most part. If you're fat, they're going to see a fat guy. If you're walking around the mall, you're at the movie theater, you're at a club, they're not, they don't know how much you lift. They don't see what you're doing in the gym. They don't see how much you bench. They just see a fucking fat guy in a dress shirt at the club or at the movies or at the mall. So you got to keep that in mind too. When girls are looking for a guy that lifts, they're looking for a muscular guy. They're looking for a lean guy. They're looking for a guy with abs. They're looking for a guy with veins. They're looking for a guy with big arms. They're not looking for the fat guy walking around that weighs 225 pounds that he can bench, you know, three plates. They don't care how much you can bench. They care how much you look. So for most of us who are into this industry, you know, for the vain reasons that we are, because we want to look better, because we want to be more attractive, because we want to attract girls more, you know, for those of us that are in the industry for that reason, which most of us are, and we we shouldn't really deny that fact because that's the reason a lot of us are lifting is because we want to look better. Um, you've got to kind of admit to yourself that the girls aren't looking for a fat guy. The girls want the leaner look, the aesthetic look. That's what they're looking for. So when you get fat and you kind of lie to yourself that you're just getting stronger, you're balking, you're a power lifter, and you think that you look good, you need to really reevaluate yourself and look at yourself objectively and kind of compare yourself to other people in the industry. You know, if you don't have any veins, you don't have any striations, you can't see your abs, um, your body fat's over 20%, you really, st you really need to start reevaluating and start um, thinking about stopping the balk. So I just want to give you guys some realistic expectations for how much you're going to gain and how much of that is going to be muscle. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Um, if, you, if you learned something from this video, if you've had a bad experience with balking, um, or if this video you know helped you make a decision on whether or not to balk, um, I just hope you enjoyed the video. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.